What is going on with Remco Evenepoel, the 21-year-old superstar Belgian cyclist? It came out just yesterday that five days after the World Championships, after that World Championships where everyone questioned his tactics going out on the attack early, it came out that five days after the World Championships, he skipped a Zoom call meeting with the Belgian national team. The other team members were there. Walt Van Aert was there. Jasper Steuben was there. I spoke with the Belgian journalist who interviewed Jasper Steuven who said that there was a lot of bad blood in Belgium and Remco Evenepoel has much more to learn in cycling. Everybody remembers the World Championships. Remco went out on the attack early, much to the surprise of all observers. Remco was attacking, attacking. Eventually, he comes back together. He goes to work for Walt Van Aert. The move gets made with Jasper Steuben and Walt Van Aert. Walt Van Aert turned out didn't have the legs and it left Jasper Steuben to try to fight for the podium spot. Well, afterwards, that's when all the interviews started to take place. Remco Evenepoel said that he had the legs to win that World Championships and he was trying to do so. Walt Van Aert said that the team plan was always for him to try to win the World Championships and Remco Evenepoel was going against tactics. The biggest uh, disappointing thing is that the tactics were clear and it, all the riders didn't um, follow the tactics. Now it's like missed chance because it, it was possible but we didn't then uh, make a, a bronze or silver medal for Jasper Stavon or something so I'm feeling now that like the, the Remco Evenepoel didn't uh, help the team uh, that good that day. Remco is very young, um, he's not that um, experienced in tactics yet, so that, that's, that's not a blame, but after the Worlds, when five, day, five days after the Worlds, on a Friday evening, there is like a Zoom meeting with all the Belgian virus and uh, the coach, uh, he wasn't there, so why he wasn't there? Only one wasn't there, that's, yeah, we can't imagine why, why not. Now, some may argue Remco was playing a good teammate, but his attacks early on shook up the race and allowed Walt Van Aert to ride defensively in the early parts of the race. However, Remco was one of those super helpers, a star rider that needed to save his strength to help Walt Van Aert chase down the multiple attacks by Julian Alaphilippe in the final. They should have left that attacking to one of the other Belgians in the early phases of the World Championships. But it gets worse because post World Championships, things just fell apart. And Jasper Steuven, that's where he said in this article that came out on Tuesday, he sat down and had a couple of glasses of wine with Bram van de Kapel, and he explained that Remco Evenepoel has a lot more to learn about things he should and shouldn't say after the race. And perhaps had he attend that Zoom call meeting on the Friday following the World Championships, everything would have been cleared up in the Belgian national team. Now, however, there is bad blood. The view is changed now. So, so when Jasper Steven uh, said this, and also Van Aert did say something, but he didn't dare to do so, say a lot. But you feel that inside the Belgian team, there's not much happiness about uh, Remco's attitude and Remco's work on the world. I don't think the other Belgian guys who are in the world championships are will be happy to help him. I think you have to, you have to prove in the future that he can do something back and it, it was the aim to do it on this world but he didn't do it at all. He's obviously super talented. Now what do the world championships mean? He's riding with a national team and all year long he's with a trade team to Kuna Quickstep so does it mean anything at all? Well, in the coming years, like in Australia, like in Switzerland, he may ask his fellow Belgians, like Walt Van Aert, like Jasper Steuven, to work for him. Will they return the favor after this year's World Championships? For me, Remco has a big disadvantage, that is uh, explosivity. He has no sprint and no um, like attack, like Pogacar If Remco will be racing against them in a, in a GC uh, race, he has to be follow them, but he couldn't follow them. So they will also always win and take some seconds on him in the bonification sprints. So that will be for him, for Remco, will be difficult to uh, to beat them. So 
it needs to uh, take some time in the, the time trial, but not, it's not easy against Roglic and um, Pogacar. I think Remco needs a guy with very, very much experience, like maybe Tom Steels or uh, Wilfried Peters around him, who can say, now you're gonna listen, or now you're gonna follow, or now you're gonna stay calm. I think he needs a real mentor, like Pogacar had with uh, Alan Piper, uh, for example, and Roglic has with uh, Nielman or with uh, the other guys from uh, Jumbo Visma. As we go ahead to the future, what does all this mean? What do all those tactics mean in the Belgian team at the World Championships? Well, maybe the sports director should answer some questions. What was he doing in that race? What was he doing in the European Championships? What was he doing in the Olympics? All those races went kind of pear-shaped for the Belgian team. If anything, in this off-season, these articles, they add a bit of spice to the winter as we look ahead to 2022, and then we'll get a better idea of what Remco's up to. He's racing the Giro d'Italia. Maybe he's gonna line up for the Vuelta España. He wants to be able to take on those grand tour stars like Pogacar, like Rolich, like Bernal. A lot needs to be learned by Remco, not just race tactics, not just the legs, but also the politics within cycling, and that will be cleared up over this winter as we look ahead into the future.